And so joining me today, I have Jolene, the creator of the Redhead Convention, um, probably the first uh, ma uh, major Redhead gathering in Ireland. So uh, how are you doing today, uh, Jolene? Hey, Andy, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah, all is good. All is good. Getting ready for the first Redhead Convention, as you said, in Crosshaven and County Cork in Ireland. So it's quite exciting at the moment. Oh, yeah, wonderful. Uh, so, yes, uh, the date is uh, this Saturday. Uh, yeah, not too much notice, but uh, Saturday, August uh, 21st, right? Uh, 2010. Mm -hmm. And uh, Just around the corner. Uh, what's that? It's just around the corner. Yeah. Um, so, uh, could you give us like a brief rundown of uh, what all the activities you'll have there? Yeah, sure. Um, well, first of all, the whole Red Ed Day, we're doing it as a charity event. Um, it's going to be happening for the Irish Cancer Society, which are an absolutely brilliant charity. They do amazing work um, all over the country. So they're a really worthwhile cause. So, it's, so first of all, it's really important that um, nice. just every, everything is going to those, to those guys. Um, the, the whole day, it's going to start at 11 a.m. in the morning and it's going to run until 10 p.m. at night. We've got some great things planned like um, the, the Cork City Fire Brigade are coming down with a big red fire engine. We've got certificates for all the redheads that turn up. We've got a gingerbread men party and also, um, I don't know if you're aware of it, but Cork has got its own special red lemonade called Tanora. So we're going to have a, a red lemonade party as well. Um, then we're going to have uh, informative lectures on red hair, the theory and the history of it. We've also got somebody coming down from the Irish Cancer Society to speak about, um, you know, fair skinned people and the, and the risk of cancer as well um, for us fair red headed people. Oh, yeah. uh, we've got a big red supper, so we're going to have lots of uh, red food and drinks like carrot and orange soup and a hint of ginger red wine, ginger beer, ginger ale, all that kind of crazy stuff, red Thai curry, you know, it goes on. Um, we've got a brilliant band called the Red Herrings playing. <laughs> We're doing, oh my God, um, a Save the Redheads campaign. We're doing a fast and foxy speed dating for any single redheads oh, in Ireland. Awesome. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be cool. And uh, I suppose the highlight of the day is probably going to be the carrot tossing competition. Um, Crosshaven is a beautiful little village in, on the Irish coast and it's got a natural tidal basin and uh, when the tide comes in the water comes right up to the village square so what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, some carrot tossing where you throw the carrots into marked inflatable boys and um, we've got a couple of guys in a local adventure centre called Funky Town and they're going to be out in their kayaks paddling and picking up the carrots and counting the scores and, and, and things like that. So that's kind of the, the rundown for the day. Um, oh, I did forget, we're also having some uh, sponsored hair dyes for the, the wannabe redheads. So anybody who isn't red before they arrive probably will be when they leave. <laughs> and again, that's all for charity as well. It's all for the Irish Cancer Society. So that's more or less it. Yeah, you have both uh, permanent and uh, temporary dyes, right? That's right, yeah. yeah. Um, all during the day from about 12 until kind of 5, 6 o'clock-ish, we're going to be doing uh, permanent hair dyes. And they're they're sponsored so like anybody who's interested in doing it you know just just give me a shout and we'll sign you up we'll get you in a time and basically you know you just have to go and ask beg borrow steal money for the charity and uh, on the day then we'll uh, we'll put that color in your hair and you'll come out an absolute amazing foxy red head <laughs> and uh, in the evening then uh, we got some temporary hair dyes as well and the hairdressers who've actually um, are doing it, they they volunteer their time and their services all for free. So it's really great, you know. Yeah. So that's the plan. And uh, also having some uh, redhead uh, contest, right? Some redhead what? Uh, contest. Contest. Yeah. Well, we're having. Um, I forgot about that actually. The most freckles per square inch. <laughs> The best red beard, uh, the longest red hair. Andy, you could be seriously oh. in the chance of winning that. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> We're also having the best ex-redhead, so if there's anybody there who's maybe gone bald or who's changed their colour, oh my god. Uh, do you know anything like that? Bring along a photograph and you can enter the competition for the best ex-redhead as well. <laughs> we got loads of things as well. Like, we're going to have the king and the queen of the redheads too, so. All good. All oh, good. Awesome, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, full day. I wish I could uh, take a plane trip uh, just over for the weekend, but uh, let's see. Uh... Well, you know...
you never know. Uh, you can fly direct from the States to, to Shannon and to Cork, or Shannon and to Dublin. <laughs> and Dublin's about, uh, about a two and a half hour drive from where we are. And uh, Shannon is probably about two hours as well. So, you know, if you do get a notion, like, you will find it, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I've driven from Dublin to Cork, but uh, m maybe if you spot me the ticket, I'll come. Yeah. <laughs> um, the next time, the next time. <laughs> So, uh, what was uh, your inspiration for this? Uh, have you been to Red Hargan Dog in the, the uh, Netherlands, uh, the Red Hat Day there? Or? Well, do you know what? Actually, I'm half Dutch. And my mum is Dutch. And believe it or not, all my Dutch family have got red hair. Um, and very, actually, none of my Irish family have red hair, which is, which is crazy. Um, but I've never been to the Red Hair Day in Holland. And um, the whole idea for the Red Hat Convention in Crosshaven started as a joke between me and my brother. My brother's got the foxiest head of hair now that you'd ever see, right? And started over a pint, many pints actually, as most kind of crazy ideas do. And it just kind of grew arms and legs and suddenly it was like, do you know what, let's do it. So I did a bit of research on the internet and of course I came up with the, the fantastic festival that they host in Holland and I was like, wow, that's great, you know? Let's do it, let's do the same, let's do, uh, you know, well I suppose it's not the same because it, it never will be the same, but you know, let's do our interpretation of a redhead day. Yeah. And this, this is what's been born. And so far, so good. Like everybody who we've told about it has been like so enthusiastic, especially since it's for charity. And we've got great um, press coverage as well. It's been in like all the local and the national newspapers and also on the radios. And um, yeah, do you know, what can I say? Like Foxy Rocks, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, it really cool. sounds like a good lineup, and uh, yeah, it's just interesting how each uh, redhead gathering or convention just seems to have like its own different flavor. That uh, yeah, I think the, especially the the dating and the the contest uh, that you're holding yeah, are definitely unique. So yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. We might get a few more ideas for next year because it's looking like it's going to be an annual event at this stage. <laughs> oh yeah, I hope so. Yeah. That, Seems like we don't have uh, a lot of uh, Irish redheads online yet, so yeah, hopefully this will really drum up some, uh, you know, activity. Well, you never know, we could put uh, Redhead World on the map yet, yeah. in internet terms, of course. <laughs> Hope so. <laughs> um, and uh, you are also uh, a photographer, right? That's right, yeah, I'm a photographer and a graphic designer. It's it's absolutely my passion in life, really, is, is just taking photographs. Um, I'd, Coincidentally, how the whole kind of location for the Redhead thing came about is because my family own a pub and I do work here as well at the weekends. Oh. But um, no, definitely, like, uh, all, all I ever want to do is just is just take photos. Um, so, yeah, that's that's kind of what I love. And you have a couple of published uh, books, right? <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, as I said, God, you, yeah, as I said earlier, you've really done your research on this. <laughs> but... Um, no, I have. I've produced a couple of books um, about the coast of Cork and the coast of Kerry. Um, so it's basically it's a it's um, a photographic journey along the our amazing coastline in Ireland. And what I did was I went to all the villages, towns, headlands, just went in and you know checked them all. I tried to get as much as I could as well from the water, like you know photographing from the water because I think our country looks so different when you see it from the sea than when you see it from the land. So I tried to do as much as that, and as well, I'm really interested in sailing and stuff. Um, so that that's where the whole concept of the coast of Cork came along, and that was published by um, a newspaper here called the Evening Echo, and um, they've been absolutely great. And that came out in 2008, and then in 2009, there was such a good reaction and um, to to the coast of Cork that I continued the journey and I went to the next county, which is the coast of Kerry. So last summer, I just uh, spent the whole summer uh, traveling around and, you know, just checking out the beautiful places that are on our own back, do back door, like, you know, you don't realize when you live in a place how amazing it is. So, like, it was just a really, really special thing to do. And I must say, I really enjoyed it and I'm really, really happy with the books as well. You can check them out, actually, online as well. You've got coastofcork.ie. You can, you can see some of the photographs and also on Amazon or you can contact me as well if you want to get a copy of the book. Yeah, we'll definitely uh, try to post a link, so yeah, if any of you are interested in seeing some wonderful photography by a fellow redhead, uh, definitely check it out. And uh, yeah, it sounds like a really wonderful festival. Um, maybe I'll make it next year. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I wish I could be there. You never know. I, it's looking like there's going to be a next year, Andy. Yeah, well, that's good. <laughs> 
Well, I uh, guess we'll uh, hear from you a little bit later. You're going to be posting some videos online, right, of um, all the activities? That's right. We got a foxy, uh, foxy filmmaker on the case for that one. Um, Sean O'Connor of Fawn Films is going to be um, uh, shooting all day, so uh, hopefully you can get some action and he'll put it up on YouTube. Oh, yeah, wonderful. Well, can't wait to uh, hear about it, and uh, I guess we'll see you around. Thank you. Oh, thanks.